Production is a concept that is boiled down to two distinct measurements, days and cycles. Days are self-explanatory as they are just the same as we all recognize them, the period of 24 hours. Cycles, on the other hand, are subject to each individual configuration. Command Center defaults this to one cycle for all plans with further customization available in the Comcell console, something we'll briefly touch on here later. Commalt defines a cycle as any period between two fulls. While Commalt plans don't display any form of configuration relating to cycles in Command Center, a control plane's retention is completely policed by the availability of cycles. So let's illustrate this distinction by comparing two different environments. The same Chicago customer we profiled back in our first module had a 30-day need to keep their data on site. At this site, they're able to run fulls every single day without any concerns at all. The data is protected on time, successfully every day. We mentioned before that a cycle is defined by the period between two fulls, so by definition, not only will Chicago eventually have 30 days worth of backups, but once day 31's backup completes, we are free to remove the oldest backup because that would still allow us to maintain the 30 days as asked. While this configuration may not be ideal for multiple environments due to logistics like bandwidth availability, for example, this is the simplest form of retention configuration that can yield potential space returns on a more relatively frequent basis. Now let's say that the same customer has decided to only run full backups once a week. By definition, this would imply that a cycle in this configuration would be a total of seven days. This is key to understanding how data retention works as this changes how often data can qualify for aging. In the same configuration of 30 days worth of retention, when we hit date 31, we cannot simply delete the first day of data. In between fulls are incremental jobs that build off of the last full ran in the environment. Without the full within that cycle, incremental backup data is useless on its own, so we would have to age in multiples of seven, the amount of days each cycle has been defined for in this configuration. While we can reach five weeks of data, yielding 35 days of data, removing seven days off of that would take us down to 28 days, two days short of the 30-day requirement. In reality, this would taper off into retaining upwards of 42 days of data, and as little as 35 days of data due to the weekly scheduling of fulls. This concept is crucial to understand in design as one could inadvertently bog down an environment with more data than expected, leading to storage-related concerns prematurely. Consider retention structure and the frequency of fulls to avoid the scenario of your customer running out of space faster than expected.